OMG, I think I'm live. <laughs> Guys, what a morning. Um, I don't cook. I don't cook. I don't clean. I don't know the rest of that rap song. Um, but I was preparing dinner ahead of time and realized ah, it's supposed to be live. And so here I am. <laughs> frazzled uh say what's up as you hop on if you're watching this on facebook you can drop the words liz list below and lulubot will get you the written version of this if you're watching this on youtube or lizmedley.com what is up thank you for being here uh, hit the subscribe button um, if you're on youtube and you can tap the screen and hit See first or get notifications so you don't miss a beat so Liz list will get you the written version of this and let's go ahead and talk about three ways to increase your social media engagement um, so when building an online business um, on social media one of the most important metrics to follow um, and to track is engagement that's likes that's comment that's interaction um, a lot of times I see people trying to grow their audience size, but they fail to increase their so social media engagement. And I'm totally, I've been there. Um, and I learned just because I have a massive follow, following count, that's it's kind of vanity. Those numbers don't really matter if people aren't engaging. And if people aren't engaging, people aren't seeing your stuff or they're not finding it important or valuable. Um, so engaging uh, with your fans will turn those fans into lifelong customers. And when you take that time to build the relationship with your audience and you're engaging with them and you're interacting and they're, you know, there's this conversation happening, it's going to lead to more sales and increasing customer loyalty and also them leaving positive reviews on your social media. So um, we're going to share, I'm going to share with you the importance of social media engagement, how to grow, um, grow that, and then also to increase your engagement okay so let's talk a little bit about the importance can you guys hear me there's a loud plane I'm outside it's Florida it's so nice um, so super super excited um, that you all are here so Liz list is going to get you the written version of this and before we dive in a little bit further for those of you that don't know me my name is Liz Medley and I teach entrepreneurs how to build a freaking awesome business, a cool life, and to be able to show up with confidence. I'm also the creator of an online community called Messy Buns and Business, and I see you girls that are in Messy Buns and Business in here. If you want to be a part of it, when this live is over on Facebook, search Messy Buns and Business, answer the questions, and we will get you accepted in there. I also see all my girls from pretty social love it love it love it love it go ahead and share this video if you know anyone who is building a brand or a business online you can share it to your chats you can share it to your groups where online entrepreneurs hang out and i always appreciate that greatly and i know others appreciate it as well so let's carry on shall we okay where did my notes go here we are so the importance of social media engagement it strengthens your relationship with your customers, right? So when a customer engages on your post or they send you a message on social media, you have the chance and the opportunity to build a genuine relationship with them. Uh, you can answer their questions. You can respond playfully and um, excitedly. Um, and when you go the extra mile to engage back with them, it's really good customer service, but it's really going to strengthen the relationship, okay? The next thing that social media engagement also does is it builds customer loyalty. So they aren't going to look to go anywhere else. If you raise your prices, it's all good. They're not looking to go anywhere else because they are loyal to you. Um, if you want to go on vacation, if you're out of stock, if shipping things happen, that loyalty keeps your customers happy. So by building relationships with your customers and helping them when they're in need, offering them um, one-of-a-kind customer experience, you're going to improve that loyalty, right? Because you've answered their questions, because you've replied to their hellos. Uh, they will start to trust your brand when you've joked around with them and you've expressed your gratitude to them, you've resolved their problems. They're going to fall in love 
with you and fall deeper in love with your brand, okay? And then additionally, by engaging on social media, you're gonna boost your sales, all right? So being active on social media and replying to customers' posts and customers, um, they'll start to feel confident in buying from you, right? So even if there is a negative review or something on your page, your loyal customers are gonna to respond to that and say, hey, you know, that wasn't my experience. They're gonna respond um, to you and it's gonna increase your sales. So let's carry on, let's carry on, let's carry on with three ways that you can actually get people to engage so you can build these relationships, so you can build loyalty, and so you can boost your sales, okay? So the first one is stop being spammy. Tammy, okay? Stop being spammy Tammy. No one wants to join your team, okay? Nobody can join join your team. Join my team. But and guess what else? Ain't nobody gonna ask you how. You know, you say, ask me how. Listen, sister, no one's gonna ask you how. Like wanna lose weight? Ask me how. Want this? Ask me. Bleh. They're not gonna ask you how. No one gives a flying hoot about helping you hit your goals. No one's gonna ask you how and no one's gonna join your team. Why? Because that is not effective marketing and it's gross and it's, and I know you feel icky even saying it. You're like, yeah, ask me how. You're like, ooh, that was catchy. Or was it? It doesn't make you, oh, bleh. it's gross. It's just gross. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you, it's gross. So they don't want, another thing is they don't wanna see what your product looks like from a professional picture in a studio from your home office or from the company's website with all this information that it costs this much and it's on sale for this much and this is what the product name is and this is the company name. They don't give a shit what the product looks like. They want to know what, how is the product going to make them feel? What are the results that they're going to get from that product? So maybe showing a before and after, sharing a testimonial, sharing how it gave you a little pep in your step and you're feeling amazing from this new shake. They don't give a shit what the shake looks like. They don't want to see the shaker bottle. They don't want to see the powder. They don't want to see the scoop. They don't want to see your moisturizer bottle. They don't want to see your mascara tube. They want to see the results. They want to know how they're going to feel. What's in it for them? Okay? So every single, listen to this, you guys. Every single social media platform hates Network marketing, direct sales, MLM. They hate it. They hate it because of this crappy, spammy, tammy, McNasty that goes on. And the thing is, you're wasting your time by doing it. You could spend that, instead of coming up with this shitty post, you could study marketing, right? The thing is, here's the deal. TikTok straight up banned network marketing accounts. They are being banned. MLM is banned from TikTok. Not because network marketing and direct sales and MLM is bad, but how it's marketed is horrible, horrible. So stop spending your time on what's not working, okay? These copy and paste posts, the graphics of the products, right? Like it's hurting the profession, it's hurting your credibility, it's wasting your time and you're not getting results, right? Can we get a, okay, I'm not gonna be a spammy Tammy, I'm gonna take the time to learn marketing. I'm gonna follow some people who are knocking it out of the park that I can relate to and see what they're doing, what are they saying, what are they posting? Well, that leads me into to topic number two and that's create your own damn content. Create your own content. So here's the thing, I'm dyslexic, I'm not that, freaking creative uh, when it comes to words, right? Like, so if I see a funny meme, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Like there was a meme and it was like 10 year old, 10 year old me to the teacher. When am I ever gonna use this math? 36 year old me, oh, like helping with homework. Like I don't remember what the meme says, but it was totally appropriate and I could totally relate because I was homeschooling my daughter and I was like, I remember saying, when am I ever gonna use this? Well, here I am doing third grade math, which I was like, I swear I was doing this math in high school and my daughter's a third grader and she's doing it now. I'm like, this is the same thing I learned in high school. But I took that funny meme as inspiration. I took a picture of me and my daughter doing homework and I used that verbiage. Because I'm not, I'm not that good with words, right? And it got so much interaction and it got so many leads and 
it got tons of shares. So I gained new followers and a new audience, right? And so if you see a meme or you see an inspirational quote, don't just share it. Don't just like post a graphic with the quote on it. If the quote's about coffee, get a picture of you drinking coffee or a picture of your coffee cup that you took and then use the quote as the um, text, not on the picture, in the description of the post, okay? So use other things as inspiration, but you gotta start creating your own damn content, guys. If you want to build a business online, you have to create your own freaking content. Got it? Get it? Got it? Good. Mm. And let it roll. And let it roll. Create your own content. Tell stories. Make people laugh. Educate your audience. Inspire them. Make people that are reading the post feel like you were talking to them. So talk to one person. Just create your own content, okay? So I get asked, what Ruby? Okay, bye Ruby. Love you. Um, I get asked by people, okay, I get asked by people that are not a part of Pretty Social. That's our amazing network marketing team. Shout yourself out if you are part of the Pretty Social. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Um, but they ask all the time, how, how do I go from talking about something funny, like you homeschooling your daughter, talking about homework, or something inspirational or talking about coffee how do i go from there to talking about skincare or how do i go from talking about being on vacation to shakes how do i go from this point about how to tie my shoes in three steps to talking about my network marketing business they have nothing to do with each other right i get asked that all the time by people that are not a part of pretty social um, the thing is, so we use a simple system. It, we generate the leads, we nurture the leads, we rip the band-aid off, and we invite them to our social sales funnel that works 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, and here's the thing. When you make a post about what you are doing or who you are or you're educating, it's going to generate likes and comments. Those are leads. From there, you can sort and sift through your leads. Oh my gosh, I think I can solve this lady's problem. Oh my gosh, I have what she needs. She looks like she'd be so much fun. Like, I want to be her friend. Hi, you want to sit on my lap? Yeah. This is Rogue, and she is the birthday girl today. Say hi. 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 Um, so you can ask your upline, if you're in network marketing, what systems do they have in place to move your leads to prospects, right? And the best of the best companies and teams, they have systems for customers and potential distributors to take them from a like to a customer, it's taking them from a like to a business builder. So those systems are in place. Uh, but here's the, here's the point of this whole thing. Become a content creator. Don't just consume content. Don't just share content. And don't be lazy. Like the amount of time that you are wasting putting up these, putting up posts that don't actually work, you could have actually spent the whole week crafting a great story with an amazing picture. And you maybe only posted one time, but it's going to be more effective than... Join my team. Yeah. Ask me how in a picture that you stole from your company's uh, website. Okay? Yeah. All right. Let's go on to number three. Comment and engage on others' posts. If you want more comments, leave more comment. comments. Stop just giving hearts and likes. Actually engage. Have a conversation in the comments of other people's stuff. When people actually do comment on your post, reply to them and have a conversation in the post. Right? In the replies, in the comment section. Um, I was recently um, invited to not give any likes and not give any hearts on posts for 48 hours, only comment. And you guys, guess what happened? My engagement blew up. It blew the F up. Like, kapowie. Like, it blew up. Um, because I was starting to have real conversations and I had, I, it took a little bit of time. I had to stop and like be thoughtful. And it's funny because I started commenting like, Three or four of my Facebook friends had babies, and so I'm like, oh my gosh, congratulations on your new baby, or oh my gosh, I just love hearing that you are happy and healthy, and I love the name, how adorable. Guess what started happening? Bye. More new moms started showing up in my feed. It's the craziest thing ever. It was so awesome. Um, so become interested, like truly interested in what others are doing and posting about. So um, if you want more engagement, be more engaging, okay? And then let's just kind of wrap this up again. If you want the written version of this, go ahead 
And drop Liz List below, L-I-Z-L-I-S-T. And Lulubot, if you're on Facebook Live uh, or watching this as a replay, Lulubot will message you the written version of this, okay? Um, and so... Ruby, stop! Ruby's not even out here, honey. It's, it's me getting your ponytail out of my face, child. Um, okay, we're, what was I saying? We were wrapping this show up, <laughs> right? I'm like, I don't know where I'm at or what I'm doing. Um, yeah, that's all I really have for you. So I want you to ask yourself, and you can answer this below, actually, and you can make some friends here in the comments, but what steps have you taken for your brand to increase your social media engagement? So what are you doing to increase your engagement? Um, do you regularly get likes, comments, and shares on your posts? And let me know um, other social media tips that you have in the comments below. That would be amazing. Um, if there's something that someone posts below that you like, um, reply to them. Say thanks for sharing this. Like practice here uh, with the engagement. Practice here uh, with making friends and having a whole conversation in the comments. It's, a, it's an incredible thing. So these are just three ways that you can grow your engagement and um, get that brand loyalty. And that hair, girlfriend, okay, whacking me in my face and making my nose itch and stuff. Oh my gosh, bro, you got to go inside, sister. You're making me confused. But it's going to strengthen your relationships. It's going to build customer loyalty, and it's going to boost your sales. So I will see you all next Tuesday, 1030, same day, same place, same time, all that good stuff. Um, and if you haven't been to LizMedley.com, go check lizmedley.com out. There's tons of past trainings there, some of my favorite products there. My online courses are stored there, and it's just a um, fun resource for building a cool freaking business and amazing life and to be able to show up online with confidence. I'm Liz Medley. This is Rogue Monroe, and this is Rogue Monroe. We all say peace out. Bean sprouts. Peace out, bean sprout. Well, I, I don't know how to end it. There we go.